Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is May 7th, and we are going to take a look at uh, Palantir stock. I'm not a financial advisor. I just do this for fun, and I'm having lots of it. So uh, Palantir closed at 19.75, down 34 cents, down 1.69 percent. Post market uh, down three cents. So uh, basically, uh, yesterday uh, was a well an important day, a milestone. Palantir closed down under 21 bucks. So the support, the uh, double support that we have had, we have had a support at 22.50 that uh, was reasonably uh, respected most of the time. And uh, also we had the last resort support at 21. So the 21 support was a last resort support and sometimes the stock would be bouncing on it and sometimes it would be bouncing on the 22.50. So this is why I called it a double support because the stock was bouncing sometimes on one and sometimes on the other. Uh, now the 21 was broken yesterday, so we closed outside of it. So the 21 is broken. The 21 is becoming a resistance now. Uh, and today, uh, today basically Palantir came down even lower. So we are 34 cents lower. The next uh, support that I see uh, was a resistance around uh, November 8th, 18th of last year. So uh, it was a resistance at that time and now uh, it uh, looks like it's going to become support. So 1906, let's say 19. So 19 is another support and we are slowly, slowly coming down to it slowly coming down to it. Uh, the low of yesterday was lower than the low of today. So maybe the stock will not touch 19, but it's uh, quite close to it at uh, 1943, let's say. Let's look at the hourly chart. Uh, okay, so uh, let me find 930. So 930 is this candle here. So uh, yesterday, look at yesterday. So this is the 21 support that we broke, boom, in the first hour. Then uh, the stock went sideways, then went down again. And today, and well, let's say that the last two hours of yesterday, we picked up a little bit. And today, it looked like we were going to maybe break this resistance that we have here. So today we uh, opened, uh, this candle was uh, at 2030 and we went and touched, look at this. Look, look at how marvelous technical analysis is. So today the first candle touched, boom, touched this resistance here. So we did not know at, the, at that point, will it break it? Then during the next hour, we broke out of it. And if we look at the five minute charts for fun. So at the five minute chart, look at uh, this. So, so this is the first hour. So we went very close to it. The second hour, we broke it on the five minute chart. Then quickly, five minutes later, boom, it went back down. So, so this was a strong rejection. The stock went up and then Boom, I'm going down. So sellers were there to push the stock back down and look at what happened during the day. Boom, 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 boom. boom. So it uh, went down. Let me go back to the one hour chart. So basically, uh, yeah. So basically we, uh, we got rejected here and then the stock went down. So during four hours, it was just going down. Uh, then at 2.30, we uh, found a little floor. So there's a floor for now, a support. A support for now. A support, uh, let me, I kind of want to put it here at 1967, let's say. So 1967 is a very local floor and uh, we have been bouncing off of it a little bit during the last hour today but then look at this 
we went higher and then we got rejected and the body of the candle uh, stayed here so um so not too strong of a bounce if i might call it a bounce so basically um after four straight red candles it's not surprising to see a green candle it's it's kind of rare to see 800 red candles in a row you know you see three four five and then you see a green and vice versa so um so it might just be uh this and if if we look at the stochastic for the hourly chart the stochastic uh did not even go up for that last candle see the stochastic was at 14.29 and then at 13.89 so the stochastic was not impressed by this little candle that looked like that looks like it's higher than the previous one um let's go back to the daily chart uh so basically yeah so basically look at this uh palantir is just going down just going down straight down and it's not looking behind it's just i'm i am going down and i'm not finishing so right now stochastic is at five extremely low not much uh, strength uh, at all in this stock uh macd is still bearish and the dmi is quite wide between the two so um so DMI is an indicator that I, that I like very much to indicate uh, big trends. So before we see a big trend in Palantir, we are going to, we are going to need to see the green line go above the red line. And since they are so far apart, it's going to take several, several days of uh, really nice green candles to have this reversal of the DMI. So basically, so basically this reversal of the DMI should coincide with the break of this resistance here. So we have had this, this uh, resistance here that was in play uh, March 15th, April 13th, and uh, not too long ago, April 27th. So I suspect, I don't know, I suspect that if we, if we respect the support at 19, I suspect that uh, the stock might do something like this, might do something like this and eventually, boom, do this at the same time as the DMI should cross. So, so that would be a great, a great signal to enter. So that's going to be it for me for now. So thank you very much for watching. That's the first thing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Uh, I, re I read all of your comments. You can ask me questions. And yes, I'm from Quebec. So this is why I don't have an English accent. Um, you, can also, uh, you can also subscribe. I produce a video every single day, one for Palantir and one for Tesla. So if you want to see them in your feed, please subscribe. We have a Discord server that's completely free. You just go there and... Um, it's free and this is a place for people that like what I do to exchange between each other and sometimes I pop in. Uh, and we also have a Patreon account if you want to support me and uh, entice me to continue doing this uh, until I die. Um, so uh, I'm going to wish you a great weekend. We are going to be talking on Monday and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.